Hello and welcome. In this lecture, you will be learning about Microsoft Anti Malware for Azure Cloud Services and for virtual machines. It's not just for it's not just for the single virtual machine. Yes, you can manage for the multiple virtual machines with the help of different tools like Security Center and VM extensions can be used to manage this malware protection. Yes, Microsoft Anti-Malware for Azure is completely free and real-time protection you can get it that helps to identify and remove virus, spyware and any other known or unknown malicious softwares. It generates alerts uh, when unknown malicious or unwanted software try to install itself or run on your Azure Cloud VMs or Azure services. The solution is built on the previous uh, products that you have already heard uh, like anti-malware platform for Microsoft security essentials or forefront endpoint protection or maybe system center endpoint protection and Microsoft Intune even and most of you have already heard a product called Windows Defender so all these uh, products one and the same closely the backend engine and that engine will be used uh, to manage this Microsoft anti-malware for Azure in a single agent solution for applications and for your tenant environment and it, it will be you can uh, go for a design to run in the background without human intervention to protect any of the deployed uh, virtual machines or deployed application workloads or either securing them by default automatically or you can go for advanced custom configuration including malware uh, specific monitoring alerts when you deploy and enable microsoft anti-malware for azure uh, applications the following uh, core features are available so to talk about the first one would be the real-time protection which will monitor every activity within the cloud services on your virtual machines and detects and blocks automatically any malware execution the second one would be the schedule scans the schedule scans periodically detects malware including any actively running programs with the help of quick scan or full scan on a schedule based and malware remediation is the next point next point which will automatically takes an action on detected malware such as uh, either you want to quarantine or delete that specific malicious file or it will clean up um, all together and it will give you the benefit of complete malware remediation by cleaning those rem registries or the physical files and the location and also signature updates which you will be getting directly uh, from the Microsoft for the virus definitions to protect known and unknown viruses and the next one would be the anti-malware engine updates uh, which is automatically comes again from the anti-malware engine and similarly anti-malware updates are uh, you automatically get it very similar to the signature updates and active protection will be a, a kind of you know reports which will give you all the time as a telemetry data about deciding whether threats and suspicious uh, activity going on within your Azure services to ensure rapid response uh, from evolving threats landscapes as well as including real-time synchronization signature delivery through uh, Microsoft active protection which is additional service and also the sample reporting you would be getting like uh, when you submit anti-malware services uh, it helps you to uh, find a win uh, uh, for the enabling and the troubleshooting purpose also exclusions when you're deploying uh, any of the anti-malware policies or anti-malware you do have an um, agent when you're trying to deploy you have an option for the exclusions of the files and folders and processes as well as the drives but the biggest problem uh, as Zen date of this recording would be which is the uh, con side I can talk like you cannot uh, centrally manage for all the machines uh, the exclusions unless you have decided and you try to you know deploy then you can you know set up a exclusion but if you want to modify later point you need to go for each machine and do the 
exclusions of course you can also do it from the PowerShell but uh, that's what I'm trying to say here you don't have a central console even though you have a deployment console from security center you don't have a managing uh, complete um, full-fledged policies directly from a single console so still Microsoft is working on that we never know when they are going to release the next point would be the anti malware event collection so it's going to recall and it's going to tell you the anti-malware service health and suspicious activities and the remediation action steps that are going to take by the operating system uh, from the event logs and it collects that specific information and it will uh, send uh, from the storage account also let's go by design and flow how this works so once you install the Microsoft anti-malware client downloads uh, it actually the latest engine protection and signatures uh, from the platform uh, of the operating system directly from the download.microsoft.com and then that information uh, writes uh, within the operating system either it could be a web role or the server role whatever the virtual machine okay it simply writes under operating system logs a uh, called Microsoft anti malware event source so that there's an event source called anti malware uh, that's Microsoft anti malware as the source will be shown and that includes the un anti malware client uh, health state protection and remediation status and uh, new and old configuration settings and the engine signatures and updates uh, security uh, specific everything will be get logged into there and you can enable the even anti malware monitoring for your cloud services or for your virtual machines to have the entire uh, uh, logs to be written um, as a pre uh, pre configuration for you to you know produce into your Azure storage account the anti malware services use the Azure diagnostic extensions to collect these anti malware events from the Azure system into tables uh, in the Azure customer storage account and then that information can be pulled and you see here uh, you do have the option to enable the Microsoft uh, anti malware extension for a single machine or you can also do it from the security center portal all that kind of configuration can be done these are the some of the default actions that are configuration enable settings uh, which you can do for example enabling anti malware option either true default is none and also extensions exclusively you can uh, exclude some kind of extensions like dot gif or maybe dot text or dot log files from the scanning and also you do have option for the exclusion of the paths like maybe e colon or c colon some application path or some application dll files um, in that way you can configure so these are the um, configurations you can do it also for the real-time protection also you can enable or disable and also you can set this schedule scanning can be enabled and uh, daily schedule scans and default values of these uh, or the default options also you have the monitoring option and storage account specific uh, settings also you can configure here and these are the default settings that you can configure and are available for you to configure now let's jump into the demonstration 